Hey everybody, welcome in that new Golem tutorial which will show how to use the free place mode within population tool which has been uh, created using different options. So in the previous video we showed you how we can use the free place mode to create a new population tool by clicking and orienting uh, rotating characters wherever you want it to. But there are other options like legacy options and you may want to use for certain purpose other tool that we have here. Let's say you'd like to use the grid mode. So in the grid mode, you can define how many columns and how many uh, lines you would like to have, what's going to be the distance. Um, and you may want to, you know, locally influence the rendering type of a character, because that's not something that you can do at the moment within just the sliders. Here, the sliders allows you to define what's the repartition of the root, but uh, not really where they're going to be exactly. So um, if you want to influence what's going on here, you can use the free place mode to do this. So when you go into your population tool locator, you've got a edit slot options and you can um, click on it to say that you want to edit it into free place mode. When you click on this button here, that will open the population tool settings and the free place options uh, with some regular drop zones that we have here. You probably notice that if you're using any of these options there, you just have at the moment a subset of features being available. You can change the rotation and the anti type rendering type of your characters. So let me try using this one first. So let's say I would like to paint wherever woman characters are going to be. So I can use the shift key and now I can move here to actually paint my anti type rendering type. If I want to specify I want to use a flag, um, I can define this is where I want to use my flags. Notice that even if we're using a grid population tool, we still have access to the display base objects options that we had into the free place mode, which allows us to, you know, preview how will the character look like when we're going to start making the simulation. I also have access to the rotation tool. So once again, if I press shift and now um, define what's going to be my target, um, the characters which were within that brush size will be orienting into that right position here. And the last option which is available to me is gonna be the set scale. Great, so let's reset the tool for a minute. Um, then we've got different modes which are based on components. So the component mode, for example, allows you to select a bunch of faces here. Go into the population tool and say that you want to populate through components. And you can see here that now we've got one character, one population slot uh, being uh, created per um, faces that we selected and they are at the middle of the face following the actual normal and orientation of that face. So once again we've got access to the edit free place mode from here and this time we've got access to the full feature of uh, the system. So here I'm going to increase my brush size and I can actually you know, move a bunch of my characters around and change whatever I want to. I still have access to the rotation, sensitivity types, and so on and so forth. So the same options uh, that we had into the free place mode are available for that component um, tools there. So hope that helps and see you in the next video.